What's up, modern steaders? We got Memorial Day today, so we got extra time to work on our garden beds. I think it's supposed to rain about around one o'clock, so we got a few hours to get this done. So, what do we need? What do you want to do first? You want to get some mulch? mulch. We'll get the garden bed mulched, and we'll get some loom put in it. And then yesterday, on the way to the birthday party, we stopped at a nursery. We picked up some. What are the flowers called? Creeping flocks. Creeping flocks, and then we picked up a couple of blueberry bushes. So we're gonna try to get this all done probably before lunchtime if we can. You guys want to say good morning? Good morning. Hey. Good morning. You never know what's gonna happen on the homestead. Let's go fix the tractor. Did you get the bug out of your eye? I don't have a bug in my eye, I have a bite. Oh, a bite, bug bite in your eye? Well, that's not in my eye, but. That's no bugs. fun. No, it's not. You're just only gonna spread it out, yep. right? We're just gonna use this to keep the grass from coming out. I made that one out of little. Go from Oh, one second. Mom made that when she was little? Uh huh. That's awesome. Looks good. Turn around. Pretty. Ooh. We forgot to show the braces that we put in the center of the raised bed yesterday to keep it from bowing. We just did a two by four there and one there. The reason we're putting the wood chips down is to suppress the weeds instead of using cardboard because that can leach the glue and all the chemicals that are in the cardboard into our soil which will go into the plants and the food that we're growing. So we're going to use the wood chips. They'll break down, they'll loosen up our bad soil underneath. So if we want to put root, root vegetables in here next year, they'll grow deeper and we'll get, you saw the worms that were in that wood chip pile already. So we're going to get all the beneficial microbes microbials from the wood chips.
a little bit. You have to give it some gas. The storm's rolling in, but we got four more flowers to plant and two blueberry bushes. Hopefully we can get that done before the rain comes. Happy life, happy life. That's right. Yeah. Hey, slow down. Oh, you're going for a soccer ball? No idea. She did. I'll need to mulch over here sometime with wood chips, but that won't be today's priority. Today it's just about getting them in the ground before the rain comes. I'm gonna get the bloom out of it first. I'll plant the blueberry bushes. If we need some loom, we'll use some of that and then I'll empty it back in the pile. All right, where do you want the lobelia? That's the last flower to plant. All right, that's what it looks like now. I'll save these. They might like a little bit sandier of soil, but... Ooh, ooh. That one's all sandy. That one is. It has a lot of roots. It's got good roots, but it just wasn't... Do you need the tractor over here? No, I think this soil is good enough. We'll find out. Everything's an experiment, isn't it? It is. I'm gonna take... <sighs> that one off so I don't choke the plant. If you want, just put it upside down, and then it'll die, and all, all right. the nutrients will feed the blueberry bush. Hmm. Yeah. So this plant right here is the reason why I got two blueberry bushes yesterday. Look how big and full this one is. Normally, you don't see them this nice. And this one was the same price as that one. Couldn't pass that up. This kind right here is a Northland. Could almost get, ooh, look at that score. We got two. We gotta dig another hole. Sweet is right. Put 
the roots in upside down. That way they can't grow nothing. They'll rot, they'll help hold the moisture in. Now we're gonna take one thing that was a problem and make a solution, some eggs with it. Oh! There's a lot of weeds in there. Oh, this makes me happy. What? Been going away. Gonna go beat some chicken feed. I mean, there's a lot more easy down there. So What's that? There's a lot more of it. Yeah, get the rest of it. Hello. What are you doing, Spots? Hello. You guys are doing good in there. Aerate some more of that deep bedding. Get us some good compost. And then we'll get some good bacon. Hey, we need to check on the seeds we started. Let's see how they're doing. Some of squash. There's a few starting to poke out, nice. Cucumbers. Those are gonna go up above under the grow light now. Let's see about zucchini. Not quite yet. Got some spaghetti squash. Not yet. All right, let's grab these guys. That one there. Look at all those cucumbers that have popped up. I guess we should have checked them yesterday. They're pretty lengthy. I bet you they've been up for a day. Those are like five year old seeds from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Them are some good seeds. We'll let them sit over here for another couple of days and then we'll transplant them. <laughs> 